I feel like I should breastfeed, chestfeed, whatever, in public just because my child has to eat. Family is everything. Most are priceless and some useless. The families in today's video are on a different tier of uniqueness. They are the most unusual families you will ever witness. Let's go. Oh, Afro. Number seven, rare sets of twins. I'm a mom of 10 and I've had three sets of natural twins. Zoe and Zachary of Olivia and Oliver, Kenzie and Kinsley. Twins are pretty common, but for a couple to produce, not one, not two, but three twins consecutively, it's pretty insane. Of course, having a huge family as this one comes with a huge budget. It is very hard to feed 10 people. Typical bill is over $200. If, if we don't have everyone, but if we do have everyone, it can go up to, we had a bill going to 500 and something dollars. Despite the awesome family vibe Kim and John have going on, there's been a whole bunch of online trolls flooding their comment sections with comments like, she must be raking in food stamps, was he even seen in her, he must be blind. Regardless, Kim and John are head over heels for their family, and all that hate, it just adds up to their strength. Number 6. Whether you like biracial marriages or despise them, we gotta still agree on the fact that people fall in love in many ways. Matt and Morgan met on Tinder and hit it off right away. Everything seemed normal until Morgan uploaded an Instagram reel she made about their lovely daughter Brooklyn and her journey as a mother. The video went viral and boy did it garner a lot of nasty comments. That I'm the set mom, that Brooklyn's adopted. And oh, this next one went straight for the jacket. Maybe an egg donor, your womb, but not your DNA. If my baby didn't look anything like me, this is the reason why I date within my race. One user actually claimed that they might have switched babies at the hospital and given them the wrong one. It was hurtful and I had a few just really down days. Do you guys think she is in the right mother? Leave us a comment down there. Number 5. The Hair Models Benny Harlem his wife Courtney Dendridge and daughter Jackson are becoming more and more popular due to their special bond and unique looks. This amazing dad shows a great example to his little girl of how to show confidence in everything she does and embrace her heritage. Their beautiful father-daughter love is not the only thing that they share. As you can see, they both rock luxurious hairstyles. His hair currently holds a record for the tallest height of fade, measuring at a whopping 20.5 inches. I mean, what's the point? Well, for Benny, it's all about inspiring people of all cultures and backgrounds, especially black people, to embrace who they are and to start appreciating their own natural hair. You gotta know exactly who you are and walk in your natural design. Number four was first surviving on new plates. 19 months after they were born, the world's first surviving non uplets are going home. Well, if you think having twins three consecutive times is extremely rare, then wait until you see this family. Miracles, wonders, or whatever you choose to call it, one thing is for sure, this isn't a walk in the park. Cause twins, sure we see them all the time, triplets, not so common, but no nuplets, now that is a whole different ball game. This family holds the record for the most kids delivered in a single birth who are still alive. At first, doctors in Mali were scratching their heads thinking this woman was carrying seven babies, which in itself is very rare. But there were complications so she got flown to a private hospital in Morocco. And what the doctors saw blew their minds. She was actually expecting nine adorable babies, five girls and four boys. Do you think Halima and the husband are probably the world's most blessed family? Leave us a comment on that. Number 3. Seahorse Dad Tenayas became quite the internet sensation, but not exactly for the reasons you might expect. You see, he is a seahorse dad? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Alright, where was I? So Tanaya is a seahorse dad and his TikTok videos of him breastfeeding his baby caused quite the fast time on social media. You do not belong on this planet carrying a child. Men don't carry babies. Go ahead and go back to where you came from. The worst thing said about me breastfeeding my child is that one day he'll end up because I'm pumping too much testosterone into his body. But the fact of the matter is, Tanayas is actually born a female. She had been on a medical transition journey for about six years when she got hit with a major curveball during one of her visits to the hospital. Okay, we get it, but why did she decide to put it all out there on the internet? Well, according to him, he wanted to make seahorse fathers breastfeeding their babies totally normal. Huh, you don't say. 
Number two, husband or mother. My husband gave birth to our children. Now this family is quite the unusual one. You look at these photos and you think you got the whole story, but no you don't and you will find out why in a second. So Sven is biologically female and this is the point where I'm gonna start messing up the pronouns. So bear with me. All right, here we go. Where was I? Oh yeah, so Sven had been on hormones for as long as she can remember, which in effect blocked all her chances of getting pregnant. Because I took testosterone for so long and it took so long to conceive I thought, I, I honestly thought, I was like, you know what? It ain't gonna happen. Now you're probably wondering, how is he gonna get pregnant when she is in fact married to another female? Well, the female in question here is actually a man who transitioned into a woman. It's a complex story, so let's not get into the intricates here. All right. According to Sven, as a pregnant trans man, she has received difficult interactions in public life. No, it can't be. Why? Number one, love versus money. Okay, so this one, I promise it will blow off your head. So get yourself a helmet and buckle up. Meet Semi, 24, and her boyfriend. Sorry, wrong photo. Ah, there you go. Claudio is 60. Yeah, 60. And he's so much in love with Semi. I'm Semi. I'm Claudio. We're in love. And we're in a 35 year age gap relationship. Now, if you ask me, this isn't weird at all until you hear how the whole story started. Semi now 24 and Claudio met on the seeking dating platform six years ago, which means Semi was only 18 at the time. I like traveling. Yeah. So my favorite part of the relationship is the traveling. We were just in Hawaii, Dominican Republic, and it's always like five star accommodations. They were so confident to celebrate their love story on social media, but then the story backfired like a faulty grenade. Many call her a gold digger, and the man, well, you know the word for that kind of stuff. Sven also clapped back at her haters, saying, If I'm gonna dig for something, it's not gonna be for dirt. I'm gonna dig for gold, so I laugh at that. I mean, of course, we're all gold diggers. I mean, no one's out there digging for pebbles. Oh, that's a good one. Now, which of these families is the wildest one? Leave us a comment down there. Do share with your friend on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter. I'm your Jamie Host Murphy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay beautiful, stay amazing, stay safe. Peace.